I can appreciate your concerns about the magic court, Dr. Kurtz, but we do have a state-of-the-art security system and one of the best convention packages in the business. I'd be happy to give you a tour of the facility, including our brand new state-of-the-art spa. Well, a spa won't matter if there's another hostage crisis. Can you imagine 200 dentists held at gunpoint? I can assure you that that's not going to happen. The last thing any dentist needs is bad publicity. Everyone already hates us. Oh, uh, well, then why don't we um, skip the spa and we'll move right to the security system. That way you have something specific to report back to your committee. That might help, especially if you have charts. Oh, we have charts. Oh, we have charts. We have statistics. I can prove to you that the chances of anyone getting shot here are almost nil. We are extraordinarily careful about every single person that we let through the door here at the Metro Court Hotel. I see you. I'm really scared that poor dentist half to death, and you just cost the Metro Court a very major convention. What do you, what do you think you're doing here? Sit down. I don't know. I'm, I'm okay standing. What, what kind of hospital lets a man walk out of the ICU room full of bullet holes? I told you I wanted to see you. I am not doing this. Look, I can't sit in that damn hospital bed anymore, and it's a waste of time. I could be spending with you. I'm sure you think that's very romantic. Well, it's just the truth. It's honesty. But if you care to construe it as romantic, sure. So be it. You are not, you are not sitting in this office bleeding half to death and trying to flirt with me. Are you going to admit that you're glad to see me or not? Uh, Johnny, come on. I, I've told you again and again, honey, your life is precious to me. All right? I'm not going to have you risking it so that you can sit here spending time with me if you're supposed to be in a hospital. Uh, okay, then how about a compromise? The compromise that I drive you back to Mercy? And the compromise is you take me back to my place and tuck me in. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to leave you in that dump over your garage with a chest full of bullet holes. Uh, that's not that bad. Johnny, you are a wonderful man. Your apartment is disgusting. Uh. I don't like thinking about you there when you're healthy, let alone when you're in critical condition. I'm not in critical condition. Well, you're pretty close. I'm not going back to that hospital. I'm fine. Well, I gotta get you out of here. Oh, you know, I don't worry about it. I will call no, no. Just, somebody. Just, 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 could you just, could you just trust me for a second? I'm sorry, I didn't, I mean, to manipulate you and the coming here taking oh, care of me. Be that as it may, if you're too stubborn to go back to Mercy, you're gonna let me take care of you here. God, did you get a list of your meds? Uh, no, I wasn't exactly officially discharged. What the hell kind of hospital lets a guy walk out the door that's just been shot? I told you I wanted to see you. Well, you made your point. You're mad at me. Was there any question? <laughs> what, what can I do to make it up to you? Lie down and do exactly what I say. Pleasure. Well, you know, I was thinking you were gonna have your way with me. Well, you were thinking wrong. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I just can't have you dragging your bullet shot self all through town and I want to keep you out of Sonny's way too. Oh, forget Sonny. Yeah, I wish that we both could. <laughs> but he's a permanent fixture in both of our lives now. You know? Yeah, well, if you're trying to protect me against him, you might as well not. I mean, you can't protect me against any of it. I don't like the sound of that. I'm just saying, you can't save me. You know? You can't force me to be a better man or change. All you can do is sit there and be the best thing in my life. And I'll try to do the same for you. You gotta understand something. You know, being in a relationship, for me, at least, it means taking care of the other person. Okay, I get that, but... You can't do that with me. Look, I, I just want to be with you. Okay? Whether it's for today or six months or a year, I don't know. I don't know how much time I have left. You know? But I do know that I want to spend every moment of that with you. I've never felt the 
this way for anyone. Yeah, you're fine. Can you help us? Dominic Pirelli calling you. I just wanted to thank you for your concern for me while I was in the hospital. I've just been released and uh, I'll be well looked after. So you going back to Kelly's? Actually, no. I'll be staying with the boss. It looks like we're uh, coming up Mr. Grinto's uh, driveway right now. Um, okay, thank you for letting me know. Sure thing, anytime. You okay? That was Dominic Pirelli. Apparently, he's going to be recuperating over at Sonny's house, mm. which is a bad idea on so many levels. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> yeah, you already said you don't trust him. Yeah, and you can't either. Don't worry about me. Okay, I'll take care of myself. I hope that's true.